Hey everyone, Logan here in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. And today I want to show you the 2024 Tidewater 256cc Adventure. Uh, walking through the boat, going over some basic specs, nice features you're going to see on the boat, and some popular options. So, this is a larger 25 foot boat at 25 feet 8 inches long. Of course, uh, Tidewater known to make a little bit wider of a boat. This boat has a 9 foot 5 inch wide beam, and you can certainly see it here up here in the bow. Uh, very distinctive uh, Carolina bow flare here that Tidewater is known for. Nice V entry uh, that leads back to a 21 degree dead rise. It's going to make for a real good coastal riding boat, offshore boat, uh, cutting through the waves. Stepping on back a little bit, uh, your through haul anchor windlass is standard. Uh, typically, I like to pull on back and take a look at the profile. Tidewater does a really uh, nice looking profile, but since it's here in our lineup, I got boats here on either side. Next, let's step on back and look at the power plant. Uh, this boat is powered by the twin Yamaha 150 uh, digital engines, and uh, that's going to push this boat just under 50 miles an hour. And uh, with best crews and 141 fuel tank, uh, you're going to hit, uh, get around 330, give or take, miles out there, running about 3,500 RPMs, 24, 25 miles an hour. Of course, we got trim tabs here at the bottom. Next, we're going to step on inside and take a look. Nice entry door here, clean and simple. Currently, I have the uh, two-person aft seat here flipped open, but when we're ready to do fishing, easy enough, we're going to go ahead and fold that on in. And now we got plenty of room back here to do our fishing, run the rods and reels. Plenty of rod holders here aft, on the side, behind our leaning post, and on top on the T-top. A uh, really nice option, our kingfish rod holders there. Swinging on over here on our aft star starboard side, uh, we're going to see our live well blue LED lit. And then uh, this 25 footer does have a tuna door to bring in the big fish, or probably what you're going to use it more, more likely is to make loading and unloading from the dock easier. Looking under the gunnel here on our port side, real nice thing Tidewater started doing a few years ago. This nice little black pad. It's going to protect your rods from the fiberglass and vice versa, the fiberglass from your rods. Of course, it's a fishing boat, got rod storage, and then a raw water hookup is found right there. Maintenance on this boat is really easy with this large uh, bilge access. We're going to find down here all of our pumps, everything. Another nice option is our cooler slide right here. And then just in front of it is our uh, helm pad with the Tidewater logo. Next, we're going to swing around here and take a look at the leaning post, the deluxe drop bolster leaning post. This is now standard on this boat for 2024 with armrests. Of course, this drops down too as well. Swing on over, looking at the dash, nice large GPS, um, black acrylic there to reduce glare, and plenty of room to put more electronics as you need. Beautiful stainless steel steering wheel with a suicide knob, 
our Yamaha throttle, uh, Yamaha CL5 gauge. That way all of our engine data is there separate from the GPS. JL audio is uh, standard here with Tidewater. Trim tabs with LED indicators. And probably my favorite feature uh, Tidewater recently started doing is going to be this. Uh, this is a wireless charger phone holder. Grips the phone really well. I've never had my phone fall out of it. Compass standard for 2024. And then a few years back, Tidewater started doing uh, this nice re-siding glass enclosure here on our center console with the uh, AVS vent opening system. A uh, real nice clean look. And notice how our center console is integrated here with our T-top. Speaking of the T-top, uh, this is a newer T-top for Tidewater as well. And uh, biggest thing here outside, just a, a nice good size shape, uh, is spreader lights are everywhere in this boat on this T-top. <laughs> Uh, we got three here on the back. We got one here on either side for side viewing, and then of course one at the bow. Next, we're going to go starboard of the center console. Of course, we got our dual battery switch and our fresh water shower. Sorry if the video is a little off. It's sunny out here and I can barely see my phone. Stepping on here to the other side of the center console, we're going to see our center console access. That right there is our dive door ladder. Scroll on down, just looking around. Uh, nice, clean, how they put everything behind a fiberglass panel back there. So, uh, great fishing boat, uh, but this boat certainly is designed to carry around the family too as well. And uh, we're going to see plenty of seating up here in the bow with nice bolsters and uh, nice leaning post, leaning post, nice backrest there too as well. Uh, just center, just front of the center console. Uh, Two-person wide seat with armrests. And of course, underneath all of these, we're going to find storage. Storage. And Tidewater foam fills around all their storage areas, so those essentially can be used as a day cooler. Last uh, cool feature I'd like to point out here is this front center seat easy to pull out and why that's important is now it makes it easy access to our anchor windlass so we don't have to step on any seats or anything I'll hit open that now we can access our anchor anchor controls right here to the right folks thanks for watching this quick video on this 2024 tidewater 256 cc adventure Y'all have any questions, uh, leave comments below. Uh, subscribe if you like videos. Have fun out there on the water and be safe.